actually poor, you just lie. What are, you, what are you talking about? If you go to school and your family has a low gross income, you fill out, you fill out a FAFSA, and yeah. the FAFSA is going to award you a ton of federal aid, assuming that you don't actually have the gross income from your parents to actually go to school. So if your parents are super poor, I don't know why you had to pay full out-of-state tuition to I, go to a university. I did. Do you think, what, what do you mean, did I lie? I'm, I don't know how, like, if your parents are poor, if they have a listen, low gross income, here, how do you not qualify for the FAFSA? Okay, well, all I can say to you is that I had to pay 35 almost, my school cost more and by the end of it, and I'm also including because then I defaulted on my student loans and I had to pay it back. So now I had to pay back the bank for not being able to pay them on time. So, this doesn't, something doesn't match up here. Okay. Well, I'm telling you the truth. So I don't know what to say. I Did you, that, fill, that did you a, fill out a FAFSA? Yeah. Well, I also didn't have parents that could help me fill it out. I was a first generation college student. My dad. Uh, you didn't have a school, the same school counselor you, you told these people to ignore. You didn't talk to one of them and said, I, hey, I, can I don't you help me know fill out? Like, if you're trying to shame me for not I'm doing not trying to right, shame you. I'm like, just, the background doesn't make any it. sense. I'm, I'm, I'm just, not shaming I'm anything. Just, I'm just like, I don't get your point here. Like, I'm telling you the truth. I, there's, I have no reason to lie about this. My point is, you, you complained about having $100,000 in debt. Poor. You told these people not to talk to counselors. Yes. And you said that your yes, family was poor, so you went to school for journalism on an out of state tuition. You didn't fill out a FAFSA for any student aid. There's a ton of money there. I'm just saying, what is your point in saying, am I lying about it? Like, Because I don't understand how you came from a poor so these two were going at it on Twitter, and uh, this is the, this is what they were arguing about. Um, and so this is like, so this is 57 minutes in. They, she went over to Destiny's house in Miami, and they talked for an hour and 14 minutes. And then around this mark, they got into a really weird argument around college cost. She had said they were. Um, they were talking about how college can be a waste of money and time if you go just to go like a lot of you know dumb kids do they just like well that's what that's what i think is the good thing to do so i'm just going to go to college and she was arguing earlier on in the podcast that you should never do that you should um you should only ever go to um to college if you know exactly what you want to do if you want to be an attorney if you want to be a doctor my audio Keeps cutting in and out. Hold on one second. Let me change my audio settings. Testing, 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 testing. Yeah, it sounds a little weird. Um, so she was arguing for college or against college like just in general is like, you shouldn't just, you shouldn't just go just to go. Like you should have a purpose. He pushed back on that a little bit. And so they got to this point where he started asking her about her college. He's like, so where'd you go to college? And she said, and he's like, how much did you pay? She's like, I spent over a hundred thousand dollars because my, my uh, parents were broke. And he's like, well, wait a second. If your parents are broke, then um, what the fuck is up with my audio? It keeps cutting in and out. He was like, if your parents are broke, why didn't you fill out a FAFSA? And I, I mean, he has somewhat of a point there. It's kind of strange that she doesn't know what FAFSA is. But um, my perception of this is that he's way overhyping FAFSA. Like he's, he goes on and on and on ranting about it. And then he also gets on Twitter and he's like, something doesn't add up. She's lying. She would have known what FAFSA was if she was poor. <clears throat> my personal take on this, uh, I did FAFSA multiple times. And it was just barely getting me some coverage on like a, on a, um, on a, um, I, I kept blanking on what the fuck it is, uh, on a community college, just barely getting me some money on a community college. Um, uh, I think the most I ever got from FAFSA was like 5,000 bucks. So he's, she doesn't know what it is, uh, which is surprising, but not a big deal. And he's like, blowing the fuck up because he's like, this just gives you free college. In my personal experience, FAFSA does not give you free college. So I disagree with Destiny on that point. I don't know. It's it's a weird hill for him to die on, like why why he cares so much about this. Our family and didn't fill out a FAFSA and get a ton of student aid. I did fill out FAFSA. And they didn't give you anything? It's funny. They, I, I maybe She's got not saying it right. A, she clearly doesn't know what it is. She should like just say, I don't know what it is. I didn't do okay. it. No big deal. It doesn't matter. But I'm year? telling the truth. So I just, I just want to be clear. Yeah. I'm telling the truth about my life. Like, I don't know what to say to you. And, and I don't get why, what was your question of saying like, why did you take out a loan if you were poor? I don't understand that question. Yeah, like, this is a weird, weird argument and path for him to take. Like, I don't believe you that you paid for college. It's like, what? I don't get it. Why would somebody lie about because that? Because the implications and she's not even saying she graduated. She dropped out of the third year. She'd have no reason to lie. It's not like she's like, I went to Harvard. And he's like, I don't believe you didn't go to Harvard. 
No, she's saying I went to college for three years. I dropped out in my fucking thing that I owe was over like $100,000. And he's arguing that, which doesn't make any sense to me. But a FAFSA, your parents' gross income is used to heavily determine the amount of student aid that you'll qualify for. And if you're coming from an incredibly poor family, you usually get a ton well, of Well, that's not aid. what happened. Maybe that's circumstance. And please, guys, jump in the chat. Like, if you, if somebody said, Destiny, that's stupid. I don't, I don't think they just give you free college if you're poor. I, that's not my experience. Did you go to university? It's not my did you experience get free either. money? Um, I did, and I got some free money, but I had to get married for it because my parents had a high gross income but a lot of debt. So I didn't qualify okay, as well, a FAFSA. So I had to get my, married at 19. I, I, yeah, I paid back my student loans all by myself. So I could tell you that I spent over six figures paying back my student loans to attend the University of Rhode Island and okay. that is the truth I, I mean and no I am not lying my family does not have any money okay um, my parents don't own anything I don't I mean I, we don't even have a house like we don't even own obviously I don't mean like we're homeless I meant like as in like my family does didn't even own property so it's like no I'm not lying about that so I don't I don't know what so isn't, isn't, the there. Here, isn't the issue here then why would you go also i understand if you have to leave at any time because he said you had a hard out at three and we're at 306 so yeah. right. i don't understand why you would go to an out-of-state school for a journalism degree and then turn around and blame colleges for being bad when it feels like i'm not blaming you, colleges for being bad i am telling people the truth so that they can avoid making some of the mistakes which is that, don't go to an out-of-state school for a degree that sure, might not confer a higher yes, amount of money i probably should have yes I'm, I'm sorry that i was you know 17 years old and i didn't have parents that were able to provide the economic you know the economic advising of course that would have been smarter and my sister you know two of my sisters went in state and but they still had really heavy loans so i don't know about this fafsa magic thing that you think happens then my sister paid uh about twenty thousand dollars a year um when she went in state so i, I just i don't i don't know what I, don't, I just don't know what you're talking about at all with that because all of my sisters we all had to pay loans we my older sister just finished off paying her loan so i don't know I just don't know what you're talking about, the FAFSA magic button. Maybe I, if I, if honestly, if I missed the FAFSA magic button and they were going to pay for everything, then maybe I am just really stupid and I had no idea. Yeah, they I would don't just know. Pay hey, for listen, everything, I'll be honest. As as maybe it's like a not... difference in like areas or people that we talk to. Maybe because the high school I went to was like very oriented and trying to get you to college. But when I was going to college, like I think FAFSA stuff was like the most important thing, like student aid. But and I, the I did, for it was I like... did, I did fill it out. I don't know if it's because we had my family had multiple children and we were all going to. I, I don't know what the circumstance is, but I'm okay. just telling you that the truth is that I paid for my college and I do try to tell people that if you don't know what you want to do, spending tens of thousands of dollars trying to figure that out is probably not the right move. Like oh, you. For sure. You can always go to college. You can go later. You know, try to figure out what you're good you at. Think... Get an internship. I hire people mm -hmm. that are right out of high school because I don't just believe this. Like, sure. you know, there was a young woman that now works for me who was like, I don't really know what I'm doing here. I kind of just want to be a mom. I was like, do not spend. And her out of tuition rate was fifty thousand dollars for an in for an, a Tennessee school. Okay. And so I hired her. I mean, I'm not telling people. Like I said, I tell people how I actually live and what I actually believe. And you, I don't know. And to... I don't know that you do that. I, like, don't I do. don't I do. don't justify women acting like whores. Well, I don't justify trying to prescribe lifestyles to people. What? Don't justify trying to prescribe lifestyles to people. It's not prescribing a lifestyle. Of course it's just, it is. You're, when you're, somebody the, said that they would be happy not having kids, you were like, oh, she sounds like a conceited bitch or that's something. Not like, that's not yeah, what that she said. That was a bad That was the said. TikTok clip you were responding to. That was to. not what she said, and I can tell you exactly what she So they're talking about an earlier part of their conversation where um, Candace went on Fresh and Fit, which is like a red pill podcast, and... Fresh and Fit is notorious for having OnlyFans models kind of come on and give their opinion. And one of the first things he said to, to, to Candace was how rude she was when she was on there. And she pushed back and said, well, why are you defending their life choice? And he's like, what do you mean? I mean like people can do whatever the fuck they want. I'm, I'm just saying, you know, they should be able to do whatever the fuck they want. Um, so while I agree with Candace more times than not uh, on certain things. I think I, I do disagree with her on the OnlyFans piece. She was the way that she was arguing to Destiny earlier on on this podcast. She was basically saying it's wrong. They shouldn't do it. Period. And it's like no, people are going to live their lives differently. Like he pushes back and he says, "Okay, if that's wrong, then like what's you know like what is an acceptable amount of of um casual sex partners because like you know people are going to have sex humans are going to have sex and i don't think she really gave an answer to that so um that's kind of the conservative piece that i disagree with her on is like the, maybe the sexual side of it is i feel like people should be able to be free to do whatever the fuck they want um if they post their bodies online it's like sure it's is that the most um professional like you know uh, what, what, what's the word? Um, 
I, I can't think of the word, but like the, the most, uh, you know, properly etiquette thing to do. No, probably not, but people are going to do what they want to do. And so that's what he was just saying by don't, don't prescribe a lifestyle to people. She's like, what do you mean? What do you mean? She's expecting people to live a certain way. She said, she was I vacation. said there was absolutely and... no reason to make a comment that suggests that people, she was actually being insulting to people that had kids. She, and she, it wasn't just one video. She makes multiple videos about how great life is if you don't have kids. If I was making videos with my kids saying about how great life is, if you just, you know, stop being a loser and get married, you, people would come after you because people hate the traditional lifestyle on display. Wait, but that's literally she, what she, you guys say. No, get married, have kids. That's the only way to go. Otherwise, you're a loser. No, we do not. That is, you're just making up words oh, that okay. have so never maybe come that's out not of my case. mouth. So wait, so if somebody said, if there was a young woman and she's like, I'm 20, I think I'm going to go to a career um, and, and be a whatever. I don't think I want to have a family. I don't think life's for me. You would say, okay well that's fine you should make that no, choice no I would then. say that's completely normal at 20 years old that's uh, most, oh, wait wait most... so then they should change their opinion later on what if she was 25 or 30 and she's like no I don't think I want to have kids would you be okay if that's she, fine if she was a 20 year old person and she was saying that I don't think that I want to have kids then what I would say is that's pretty typical because you're 20 years old and you are you haven't yet had the biology thing happen to you which like when they say that your biological clock starts ticking it's very real because when you get into your mid-20s you have a totally different feeling so like, a woman is like 25 something... or 30 and says I don't think I want to have kids I think I like my career to stick with it you'd say okay that's fine it's your choice yeah as long as that person isn't trying to and by the way I think that, that person would probably be it would be unusual. Like it wouldn't be the majority of women, I think, do want to have families and want to aspire to family. And that's fine. But when you try to create a brand of it and you say things like, oh, well, you know, if you have kids, then you can't just smoke pot and stay in bed and be naked all day. This is actually something that like Seth Rogen just said. Okay. What you're doing that's there is awesome. you're actually trying to, you're 30, how old Five. are you? You're 35 years old. Yep. Okay, so what, what are you, what is that? What do you, what do I do? Like if you were 20 well, and you were I'm saying this stuff. I travel the world, I get to research and talk about whatever I, get, I want, I get yeah. to talk with people like you and other people, I get to, I live in Miami in a high rise for 5,000 a month. I mean, I, I think my life is pretty okay. I okay. mean, what do you. But no, but I'm saying like, Damn, what are you doing when you're trying to sell the people that, you know, being it's a like hoe is cool, more than double smoking pot, saying I don't like, necessarily think that being a hoe is cool. Are you, like, are you going to age out of that? What I try, what I saw, Because you're a 35 year old man, right? Like, you know, and you're kind of doing the like, I'm a college dorm kid and I'm trying to make everything sound cool. But I just want to point out the fact that you're a 35 year old man mm -hmm. and your words should matter and they should they should have weight. Like you, it, they do. I, like I, I said, agree. if you were 20, I'd yep. be like, I get it. When you're 35, mm -hmm. you know, say things with conviction. Say I'd things say that have meaning. Say things with conviction. Yes. You know, and like when I asked you, what would you recommend to a woman at 25 and 30? I didn't just start rambling about what a 20 year old should do and how biological, blah 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 blah. I would say exactly what I would tell a woman at 25 or 30. Yeah, I know, but your behavior and 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 I will appreciate that people that are younger d won't understand what I'm saying until you hit 35, which mm -hmm. is I'm I'm gonna be 35 this year. Okay. You're acting like you're a college dorm kid. Yeah, and your catty insults towards people online make you seem like a high school mean girl. Okay. I mean, like, what do you mean? Like, we all have our, our things. But you're like, selling to them things that you know aren't good. So what, what do you think I, I'm so selling you, to them? If you what do you think I'm selling that Like, when I'm on the Whatever podcast and I'm yeah. surrounded by women that are in their 20s mm -hmm. and they're saying, like, you know, the whole life is good, the reason why I said to that girl that I'm going to pray for you is because I know that she's going to have a different perspective when she's older. So I don't, I'm not upset by that. I don't feel like that needs to be attacked when that woman, when that young, when those young girls are around me and we're talking about all of these topics when i'm sitting with a 35 year old man okay and what do you, you think i'm and, selling and, people and you know better okay wait, wait, what do you think i'm selling people well do what, I said, people what, to be I, a hoe? what i said when you were defending the lifestyle of being a hoe why are you doing that i don't think i defend the lifestyle of being you a hoe. did you did a whole video basically saying that none of my points of me trying to tell these women that they essentially you can do something better you don't have to sell your body this was your like snazzy video comeback to it. Why are you making a comeback? Yes, you can make a video and be like, why can't someone do heroin? But why would you as a 35 year old man want to sell something to someone or make it seem okay or cool or relevant when you know it's harmful to them? I don't get that because of your age. So, yeah, I, so I don't understand. I don't know how, what your takeaway from the video was or if there are researchers that give you like talking points to my videos. But generally what I talk about is when it comes to lifestyle, you have to analyze both sides of things. If you grow up incredibly religiously conservative and you are like shamed out of sex and you don't have sex with anybody in your whole life because you're super, you know, hyper uh, cognizant of your virginity and all of these like weird things. And that's like coming from an unhealthy external place to say, oh, well, maybe that's worth exploring. On the flip side, if you grow up like hyper liberal and you fuck like 20 guys by the time you're, you know, 20 years old and you just want to bang everybody and you've got like weird associations with men and everything, I'd say, hey, you should probably slow down. It's probably not healthy. Um, I just encourage people to like explore, honestly, to have like conversations with themselves, with their parents, uh, could be with priests, could be with therapists, could be whatever, and to kind of figure out like what works for them and don't get pushed into one direction from a culture side. It could be the left encouraging people to be way too promiscuous, or it could be the right for people that are shaming people for being promiscuous and saying that, well, this one lifestyle of family stuff is going to biologically be suited towards you as you get older. I think both of these are equally stupid because it just pushes people in the other direction. So you don't believe in anything? 
is what you're saying. Is that what you got from that? Well, you're not committing to I anything. believe in actually thinking for yourself. That's what I think. I think that every human being roughly exists in this like paradigm where if you fuck 100 people by the time you're 20, probably not healthy. If you've never had sex before and you're 30, probably not healthy. And that you should probably like try to gravitate towards what are like human norms and then what are things that make you happy depending on your culture, depending on your geography. And then you kind of like explore in there. Don't be shamed out of exploring from one side to the other. Don't be pushed into something because somebody like Candace Owens or somebody like Stephen Bonnell tells you that you have to do a particular thing, but just like kind of explore I don't tell people things. that they have to do a particular thing, but if I see somebody that's, do. that's doing heroin, I'm not going to be like, you know, it is whatever. Well, she it's is. Just like whatever. Just I mean, she's it. saying don't do OnlyFans, don't fuck a bunch of people, get married, have kids. I mean, so she is telling people what to do. I don't know why she's arguing that. Like I said, I usually agree with uh, with her, I don't know, 95% of the time, but there is this 5% where I actually have to side with destiny and um, I usually dis disagree with destiny more. But anyways, just wanted to uh, quickly watch this and give some thoughts on it. All right, see you guys in the next one.